So, hello everybody. I have now two Electra ones, but one is a Mark II, and you cannot tell the difference, I guess, because the casing is exactly the same, which is good news because also the O casing is really, really nice. So it's really solid device and it has nice metal knobs on them and it feels really good. So it's great that the version two has the same casing. So the question is, what is different now? And as you might remember, the Mark One, so the right one here, this is the Mark One, was designed with the intention to control hardware synthesizers or hardware devices in general which can speak MIDI but it was never intended to support door control which is a little bit more resource hungry because you need to have also this bi-directional communication happening it turned out the processor in the first version is a little bit too weak it still works nicely but it could behave a little bit faster nevertheless the feature set is exactly the same and now with the new firmware 3.5 you get a lot of new features for both models, some more features for the Mark II, but these are not really relevant for what I'm doing currently. The important new feature was that we finally get relative knobs, which was strange that we only had an absolute behavior so far because these are endless knobs. And you see this difference in speed here. If I change a knob on a Mark II now, it's really, really smooth and it's a little bit yeah, it's hopping a bit on the first version. Nevertheless, it still works nicely. I'm not sure if the Electro 1 people can improve this still a bit because for the Mark 1, this is still in the beta phase while the 3.5 is out here for the Mark 2. It's in beta for the Mark 1. So there might be improvements still, but nevertheless, it's working. But it's, as you see, it's a little bit slow and jumpy currently. The main difference is we have a faster processor and we have much more memory. So I don't know the exact number, but this one was in kilobytes and this one is now in megabytes, which has also the option now that you can keep more templates in the memory and other editions, which are not that relevant here for what I'm doing with Driven by Mouse, but for hardware control, this is very interesting. So watch my previous videos if you have never seen these devices, which is very powerful. And I added also a new mode. And as you might have remembered, I have this cool feature that you can switch modes by just touching three knobs. We have here the different, the volume, the sense, also the device control, and we had the EQ transport, session control as well. And the new mode now is that we have also full control of the project parameters and the track parameters. So there are no project parameters currently. So let's define some. Let's go back to Bitwig. So there is not that much in here. Let's create a page. So we will see we have here now the performance page. And let's just say we want to have here the high pass filter. And maybe we want to add here a delay effect. And let's say we want to control the mix with the second one. So we have now these two parameters and you can add here up to five pages. So let's maybe add them as well. One, two, three, four, and five. So we fill it up, which you can then directly access for editing your project parameters. So if you remember, the project can now control everything. So we can also have here, for example, the volume of that track, or you could add something to, to that track, a filter or something, and collect them all in that view. And let's try out these ones up here, play. So there is also play in here. And we can then use them as well nicely and have here a delay effect on that. And this is great for live performance. And the lower part has the same, also five pages here. And you can control this track specific parameters. So it seems here are already some track parameters defined, which you can fill from all the devices on the track. And so this is now really powerful that you can change track parameters and project parameters on one page. So this is really cool for a live performance. And as you might have noticed, I can also run both the first version and the second 
different version and maybe even more different <laughs> versions if you want to get more than two in parallel and you can use them both together quite nicely. For example, you could control the volume on one and control devices on the second one. If you install the update, don't forget to update to new templates. So there's a new template with it, which supports now this relative knobs. You need to have the latest firmware version, which I said for the Mark 1, it's still in beta. So you need to go to the beta side of Electro 1 to get it. Or maybe if, if I release it, it's already out. I'm not sure when this will happen. But for the Mark II, it's already on the normal side and you can get it. It has some little squirks I noticed, but I guess they will be ironed out soon. And yeah, I think it's a really, really nice device to have. Really posh device, really solidly built and nice looking. And I guess there's also more features to come and very interesting things happening with the device. And yeah, tell me what you think. Did you get one? Do you like it? Are you missing things which we could add? And yeah, I'd like to hear from you about this. And until next time, make some funky music.